Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. Today we want to talk about airlines. I want to add an airline to my portfolio. Currently, I've stayed away from them because of the COVID situation, but maybe now time has come to add it to my portfolio. We're going to add and look at four airlines. Sun Country, Hawaiian Airlines, JetBlue, and American Airlines. But before we do, the Stock Planner channel is a educational channel and we like to share some ideas, but nobody is offering any advice, including myself. You have to do your own due diligence and learn this stuff, and then I think you can have a happy ending. Let's get started. So, I'd like to look at airline stocks for the obvious reasons. The pandemic is over, or will be coming over. I noticed that the airline tickets to various different cities, major cities, is coming down. And I understand that flights are full. So... I haven't been playing the airline stock because I think they've been hyped up or down, but I think the prices have stabilized now and let's take a look. I want to add a airline stock to my portfolio. So I'm using Simply Wall Street Scanner and I like it because I'm a simple man and don't they like things too complicated. And so I picked the airline industry, United States only, and without having a lot of restrictions, we selected 23 companies. JetBlue, Continental, but that's too many. So, I like to restrict it a little bit. First one is share price. I don't like stocks under seven, you know, ten bucks or so. Put it there. The value, I want it to be undervalued by a certain percentage. Just guessing. And I want it to be growing in a positive way. And I've never used this tool for a negative way, future growth. So, I'm going to look at that for maybe a short play at some future time. That's interesting. I always looked at it from a positive point of view. Anyway, let's see what if we narrowed our, our selection down. Three companies, American Airlines, Hawaiian Holdings, and Sun County. I'd like about five companies to choose from. So I'm going to re-edit this filter and the share price and bring this down to about 10. Let's see if we add it up. We added one more in JetBlue. That's one of the ones I, I wanted on there. I wanted to make sure there's a cheaper stock. We're going to look at these four. See how they look on the charts. You can see, see by the snowflake that each one of these stocks has good future growth. Of course, I'm familiar with JetBlue. I like Bobby's Fly there. That was nice airlines and Air, American Airlines. But I'm not familiar with Hawaiian Holdings and Sun Country. So we'll look at Sun Country first. Well, as a swing trader, we want to capture these major swings. And we can make some serious bank that way. This is a zigzag indicator. It's perfect. It does that by looking ahead and repainting itself. Kind of like predicting a football game three days after it happened. So you have to use some other indicators to predict these moves. And this is a fairly new new stock, so you didn't have enough information for the MACD. But the RSI, stochastic RSI, was in the oversold position, and so was the RSI, and it came both came around. You could have predicted it with those indicators. Some people just use the RSI every time it goes down below. You go but I use three indicators because I get a better feel for it just the one is going to would have gave me a, a buy for the RSI and that would have been short-lived and that would have predicted that that long trend there and now we have the MACD which way above the zero we have the stochastic RSI in its overbought position and so does the RSI and it would have predicted a little bit down and how far it's going to come i don't know but this stock we did a scan for a undervalued stock and so this may come down just a little bit more but this would be a buying opportunity right there at around 31 and then those conditions were would have been would, would change so this is a, a could be a wait and buy at 31 it doesn't seem all that bad let's take a, a look at another one stock wise chart wise looks okay Hawaiian Holdings, and I haven't been following it. It's a regional company, HA. Let's see what it looks like. These are close to the zero line, so we wouldn't take them. You could have used one of those, but it's hard to decide. And there's the RSI. So maybe you would have got that down. Not all three indicators. This didn't quite get to the 80. This is way deep down here. And so that's a single to go, maybe go along. Stochastic RSI came back around, and the RSI right there came back around. All three indicators came in. It 
within two or three bars of each other, and it says it's going to go up. But it's just hanging. Perhaps there'll be a breakout very soon. You can't eliminate this stock. HA, Hawaiian Holdings. JetBlue is the next one. This is a cheaper stock, $15 in a holding pattern here. MACD is saying going down. Stochastic R sides swinging around. And the R's are already did. I think it's going to continue bouncing around here for a little bit. When we did our scan, this is an undervalued stock, which means that every, sooner or later, everybody's going to catch on to this undervalued and the value will go up. Can't eliminate this one either. The last one is American Airlines, AAL. Now, this is a little bit of a rain found. I looked at this once earlier, a couple days ago, and I said it was going to be in a range for how long, did I say? Until September 3rd. And you could do an iron condor of some sort there. And that might be how you play all these airlines, kind of in a holding pattern. I mean, that kind of makes sense because you got Kova, you got there are issues over in China, in the Chinese economy, you got the Afghan situation, you got inflation and recession. You got the high zinc bubble that might burst any second. So, yeah, this might be a, a play here. Anyway, it seems like all airlines are just in a range. So I'm going to look a little harder at JetBlue and American Airlines because their name, or well, the name reckon, really, doesn't matter which one I play. JetBlue is, according to tip ranks, is trading at 15.14. Expected to go to 20.56. Nine analysts are covering it, moderate buy, and enjoys a ranking of seven. Hedge fund activity decreased, and insider activities, shares have sold. That's not good. There's a lot of red here. Next earnings date is October 25th, currently not profitable. They had a few bad quarters here. According to Simply Wall Street, it's trading at 38% below its estimated fair value. It's going to have a good year coming up. A lot of debt, insider selling over the last three months. And the shares have been diluted in order for them to generate some cash. It's, the cruise lines did the same thing. And you got the, the snowflake is orangey red. And all of these are as well, the competitors. There's his current price and there's his fair market value. So it's got a little room to grow. There's his growth. That's what we like to see. And this is not bad either for the future. And this is the past. That's not what we want to see. However, none of this would detract me from buying this. If it reaches a certain level. This is trading at 54% below its estimated fair value. American Airlines is a company that's been around for a while. Their major competitors are Southwest, Delta, and United. There's your valuation. According to Simply Wall Street, it should get to 43.40. It has the same projection of future growth for all the airlines as did JetBlue. And this is where you want this company to be. American Airlines. And this is about the same as we had over in Egypt. I think the rest of the summer, American Airlines are going to be arranging. And for the year, I think it's going to go up. So if you're a long-term investor, you might want to get in right here at around $19 or eighteen fifty. And this would not be a bad stock to buy a long-term leap option where you go a year out and expect it to get up somewhere in that area. American Airlines, it might be time to start thinking about adding it. And JetBlue, I think it's going to be range bound again. Trading for the next month in that area here. But you could have a long-term leap to get up there. I definitely believe this is a 50% retracement. It's definitely going to reach 18 or 19. Because I believe in the 50% retrace, retracement. In other words, it goes up the last print. 50% of that, it'll stop tend to fill that. And maybe come down or a little bit and then continue on up. For me, either JetBlue or American Airlines are stocks that I'll watch. If it comes down to 14, I'll definitely watch to go up. JetBlue, American Airlines, what do you think? Do you think it's a buy? Do you think it's time to add airlines to your portfolio? Please let the comment below in the description. Also, please like and subscribe. Our channel is growing. Things are going well with my trading. I have a couple of losers in there, but overall, my trading is coming, has gotten better and has stabilized since I started doing this channel. Happy trading and catch you on the flip.